guys, what's up? It's Kathy here with OMG Tesla. Welcome to my second video. My next video will be about financing, so if you're interested in all of that, please be sure to subscribe and hit the like button on this video and let me know that you want more of these types of videos. Today we're going to be unboxing some all-weather mats by Tasmanian, um, and I haven't seen them before. I've only seen videos of them, so I'm excited to see them in person. So let's just... This box came pretty damaged, so I'm just hoping none of the mats are banged up. Not that it should do anything crazy to them, but just in case. Oh, sorry. I believe is for the front trunk, I think. It is kind of bent in the middle, if you guys can see that. It doesn't look like it should be like that, so we'll pop it into wherever it's supposed to go and see if that's how it's supposed to be. So these are for the front passenger and the driver's side. This is for the entire back, so it's all one piece. Let's cut to us putting it in the car because that's what you guys are here for. Um, I know that they recommend putting these out in the sun to kind of flatten out any weird bumps. That would probably do well with this one. So I'm gonna put it in and see what it looks like, but it looks pretty banged up for some reason. Not sure if it's supposed to be like that. So in their box, they actually have a set of instructions. So before we actually go to put these in the car, it says to lay the car mat cargo liner on flat ground surface for 24 hours or under warm shaded area for 12 hours. So we are going to do that before I go ahead and put these in the car just to make sure that we get out any imperfections that came while it was being shipped. So it sits kind of underneath the chair, if you guys can see that here, which is pretty nice because we will be going to the beach and snowboarding and whatnot, so it's really nice to know that that part's protected as well. I kept this in here because I don't like things getting dirty, <laughs> but it got dirty anyways. Toss this guy in. So I don't know if you guys can see this part right here, but it's like not completely sitting against this side wall right here, but against here it is. It looks kind of strange, but no one's going to notice it. And I mean, it still serves its, pur its purpose, um, but there definitely is a little, little divot there. I need to take these parts out. I think it looks pretty good. Up close, if you guys can see how it sits, 
So it's sitting against the wall pretty well. Um, nothing kind of sticks out, which is nice. Maybe a little bit there. But as the mats sit inside the car, it'll mold a little bit better. Um, I'm hoping the driver's seat molds a little bit better as well. But I think it looks pretty good off the bat. So as you guys saw, installation was pretty easy. The only thing I struggled with personally was just ripping the previous mats, the stock mats, out because it's like Velcro underneath the entire mat. Um, but other than that, this was really nice and simple. Um, not that it should ever be too complicated to install mats like this, but these will work perfectly for what I'm looking for. I'm looking for something that will keep the mud and grit grit and grime and all the nasty stuff from when we go to the beach or snowboarding or whatever inside and on the mats and not on like the carpeted areas so that's all for this video thank you guys so much for watching if you guys want a full review of like maybe a month out um i will review them and see how these held up to my day-to-day -day life and the adventures of the summer we definitely want to see how these wear so yeah that's it uh thank you guys for watching please subscribe like this video if you want some more, and leave some comments about what you thought about these mats. If you guys have any recommendations for better mats, also let me know. I'm always interested.